So, Stefan. You know, I've been thinking. I think we should start over. Give this brother thing another chance. We used to do it oh so well once upon a time. I don't, Damon. I can't trust you to be a nice guy. You, you kill everybody and you're so mean. You're so mean. And... You're really hard to imitate and then I have to go to that lesser place. Couldn't take another day of the 90s. That horrible grunge look <laughs> did not suit you. Very good with the whole face <laughs> thing. Are you mimicking me? Yes, Stefan. Now that the secret society of vampire haters is off our back, I can go back to my routine of how can I destroy Stefan's life this week? And I can go back to sulking and Elena longing and forehead brooding. This is fun. I like this. And I will finally reveal the ulterior motive behind my evil and diabolical return to Mystic Falls. Yeah, I'm done. This is like you, Damon. Always have to have the last word. They were in the tomb. Yeah, about that. Hunting party. I did a number on me last night when you stabbed me. I gotta get my strength back out. I have two liters of soccer mom in the fridge. No? Talk when I get back. All right. Give my regards to the squirrels. Would you turn it up a little bit? It's not annoying yet. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? Just watching me uh, struggle. Very much so. I actually have it under complete control. You do? Hmm. Oh. Well, then you should just carry on making the rest of us vampires look bad. Come on, don't be a downer. It's a party for the founding families. That would be us. It would be rude to skip it. I really liked you a whole lot better when you hated everybody. Oh, I still do. I just love that they love me. I'm gonna go find her later. Don't embarrass me, young man. You wanna hear the bad news? Oh, the really bad news. <clears throat> Actually, I don't want any news, Damon. All right, let me rephrase. Do you wanna hear how the council's back in vampire mode or how I just killed Uncle John Gilbert? What? Great party, by the way, huh? I would definitely take responsibility for this new and improved you. Stefan, let's be serious for a second. You spent the last century and a half being a poster child for Prozac. And now you expect me to believe that this new you has nothing to do with human blood. Well, I know that you and Elena have bonded. And I know that she cares about you. And uh, I know you care about her. Well, this is going in an interesting direction. Hmm. Elena's a very good friend. Actually, she might qualify as my only Friend. So at the risk of sounding like a, uh, like a jealous boyfriend. Oh, there's no risk. You do. Look at you. All retro. What are you doing here? Why wouldn't I be here? Bonnie deactivated the Gilbert Invention. Isabel's gone. <laughs> and it's Founder's Day. I'm here to eat cotton candy and steal your girl. As long as you heard it. Wait, huh? What? <laughs> You have no sense of humor, Stefan. Actually, I just have no sense of Damon humor. Damon humor? Why are you here? What are you talking about? It's family day at Vampire Rehab. I'm just paying a visit to my baby brother. Damon, where are you? No idea, but I'm pretty sure I'm overdressed. Hey, hey, ease up. Ease up. She's giving us her employee discount. All right, time to fess up. This is the point of the jailbreak, hmm? I thought you could use a hug, Stefan. Ooh, my brother's about to die, and I just have to save his life for the bajillion time. Careful, Stefan, your man is showing. Aw. Better be careful, brother. Your humanity's showing. Did it to save you! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no! No way! I don't need your help. Really, last time I checked, you were hiding out in a haunted house. Have a look. What? Klaus is allergic to dust. Relax, brother. You don't want your hair to fall out. These hybrids really bringing the neighborhood down. We agreed that we would leave the grumpy Stefan at home. If you're referring to the fact that Rebecca knows I killed our mother, I've already come clean to Elijah. Hey, Steph, remember when you killed Dad? I want to dial down the judgmental dessert. Dear diary, 
A chipmunk asked me my name today. I told him it was Joe. That lie will haunt me forever. What do you want? I was hoping we could hang. You know, a little brother bonding. I mean, I know we don't actually hang out. We team up. We join forces. We activate our wonder twin power. I know it may not seem like it, but you did really well tonight. And before you know it, you're going to be the king of moderation. Elena will understand. It doesn't really matter what Elena thinks. Uh-uh. None of that. No more no humanity stepping. There's a road called recovery, and we are on it. Easy there, lushy pants. It's been a hoot and a half, but it's boys' night, and you weren't invited. Hey, man, help me celebrate my 17th high school graduation. Hey, you remember my friend Lexi, of course. Lexi, back from the dead. Goody. What's up, Buzzkill? Stop it. Are you just gonna sit there and let her and actor go see revenge? You reap what you sow, buddy. How many desiccated hybrids does it take to screw in a light bulb? You're in a good mood. Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Klaus is dead. My brother's halfway sane. Again. Give or take an immortal hunter that wants to kill us. We won. Seth. Come on, say it. Say it. We won. Once more feeling. We won. Thank you. Uh, you know what? Thank you. Turns out we make a pretty good team, huh? No, oh, it took a century and a half. Mm -hmm. I lost that coin toss, Damon. Should have been me who turned at me. Why'd you do it? Because I'm not blind. I see what's been going on around here. You're hanging by threads, Stefan, barely over your last ripper binge, and all you want is to be the old Stefan again. Needs to have a sharper point. Got it. Finally, everyone stakes to kill an original. I'm not gonna miss because you can't whittle. You said I got it. Stop micromanaging. So, what's it gonna be? Uncle Steffi? <laughs> Unky Steffi? Mm. I got it. Creepy dude who hangs out with mom? He's not dad. <laughs> what happens when uh, Elena makes a decision? You know how these things pan out, Stefan. Probably make a list of pros and cons, and at the end of the day, dump both of our asses. What if she doesn't? Then she'll pick one of us. Well, if she chooses you, I'll leave town and let you two be happy and not be bothered by me. And in 60 years, we'll go back to being brothers and none of this will have mattered, right? Yeah. <sighs> Fine. If she chooses you, I'll leave town too. All this over one girl. She's a pretty special girl. Yes, she is. I let you walk away. I watched you go over the edge. I didn't do anything to stop you. You couldn't have. Sure, I could have. I just didn't want to. But I want to now. And whenever you go too far, I will be there to pull you back. Every second, every day, till you don't need me. Why? Because right now, Huskier than I imagined. Damon. Sure picked a great night to get lost in the woods. Yeah, well. <laughs>
At least I'm starting to warm up. Which, in case you didn't know, is a bad sign. You gotta move. Okay. Just pick a direction. Start walking. I can't. I can't even feel my legs. At this point, I can't tell if the tremors are from my withdrawal or from me freezing to death. Stefan, just get up. This is not how you are going to die, Stefan Salvatore. <laughs> Alone in the wilderness? Trapped in the frozen corpse of an alcoholic murderer? Uh, I don't know. Seems kind of fitting to me. Come on. Give me something to work with here. Day late and the dollar short. You suck at playing hero, brother. I guess I'm just not used to you being such a damsel in distress. Should I list all the ways in which this mess is your fault? Sure, Steph. Go for it. I'm not doing anything important right now. You bailed on me, Damon. Listen, Valerie and I were literally just about to do the transfer spell. Even before that, you bailed on me when you decided you'd rather live in a coffin than to own up to your mistakes. No, no, no. I was trying to prevent myself from making mistakes, Stefan. And why is that so hard for you, Damon? Don't say Elena. You lived 160 years before you met her. I got ripped out of hell and thrown into a dead man's body. And do you know what my first thought was when I came to? I need to save those people on the bus. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know where I was. It was my instinct. Where are your instincts, Damon? What does the voice in your head say? You want me to say what we both already know? Fine. I'm selfish. I'm angry. I'm impatient. And yes, until I met Elena, I wasn't interested in doing the right thing for anybody. Your brother included. My brother included. Are you mad? Yes. You resent me? Yes. Good. Then get up and come kick my ass yourself. This is so hard. Because Marty Hammond is a total train wreck? Because eventually, I'm not gonna be able to go on. And when that happens, I don't believe you'll be there. This is happening. I'm gonna talk out loud to a, a crypt filled with my dead family. Everyone but you, Damon. It's wherever you are. It's not here. I gotta say. Not doing so great without you. Keep trying to start over, but can't get anywhere. Because I'm lost, brother. Months, you think it's okay to waste a perfectly good bottle of bourbon? Yep. 
in the flesh. How am I seeing you right now? Because I'm not dead, Stephen. I mean, this stuff's good, but it's not. I see dead people good. <laughs> it's a hell of a long story, brother, but I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. My blood. The cure. You what? Without the cure, I'd start to age. I'd be dead soon enough. So David's okay. He's okay. <sighs> but you, you're I did what I had to do. Damon. Hello, brother. Damon. Hello, brother. 